All right, so let's look at how you would package your C or your PowerPoint presentations to play on CD. It's actually pretty simple. So what we do is let's go ahead and go to a presentation. I happen to have this one here. And what we want to do is we want to package it for CD. So we go to File, and then we would go to Save and Send. And then you can see there's a package presentation for CD option here. So we'll click on that. What it's going to do is it's going to pull in your link, to your video, sounds, fonts, and all of that and then create a package that you can burn on CD and then when somebody sticks the CD into their computer um, what will happen is the um, presentation will auto play. Now uh, because PowerPoint 2010's file formatting is a little different they'll actually have to download the player so we'll see what that looks like but then once it's installed they would never have any other problems running that. So let's go ahead and click on package for CD and what that's going to do is it's going to open up uh, this dialog box and I can call this, we'll call this demo uh, CD and then I can, uh, here's the PowerPoint file I'm working on. I could also add some more PowerPoint files. I uh, go to options here and then you can see some of the options with which files to include and then I can also uh, set some password security and all that stuff. Um, for this we're not going to do copy to CD that would burn it onto CD for right now we'll just do copy to folder and then we're just going to go, uh, we'll just save it into our documents file, uh, hit OK, and then this gives you all of the security uh, stuff about, you know, linked files and all that. So it hits yes, and now it's going to create the package, and now it opens it up. And when we look at that, what we see is here's the PowerPoint presentation, and then this is the auto run, so when you stick the CD in, um, that'll run. Now what will happen is if they don't have a PowerPoint on their system, it, they're going to need a viewer, so the auto run will uh, ask them to install a viewer, and this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead, uh, it'll activate this um, HTML page, and what happens is you see this. So you would download the viewer, and then you'd be able to watch the PowerPoint file um, without having to have the full version of PowerPoint. So that's basically it. So you can uh, package for CD and then burn your presentations on CD. Now a couple of things to keep in mind when you do that. Uh, one is once the CDs burn and uh, if, if you're making changes you want to make sure everything's kind of done before you do all the burning because um, uh, once it's uh, the CDs created then that's it then you can't really add anything to that. 